I think that human beings uh, like to use their imagination. So we are always, you know, uh, try to imagine different worlds, different creatures, you know, that's why science fiction is popular. And I think the ocean still offers that, that, that unknown. The other thing is that, you know, we, when we look at the ocean, we cannot see what's underneath. We see the surface, even with satellite. So we have to imagine what's there, or we have to bring the wonders of what's down there to, to us, to the general public or, or to scientists. So I was very fond of uh, adventures book when I was a kid. In particular, I remember um, Jules Verne's uh, The Captain of 15 or Two Years Vacation. So that uh, idea of adventure was, you know, very early with me. I think I was around 15 when I decided that I wanted to do something related with the ocean. At that time, there were no graduate programs in Chile. So I left for Canada and later for Europe. After that, I returned to Chile to do science in my home country. One of the things uh, we did was to start working on oxygen minimum zones that led to groundbreaking discoveries in Chilean waters. But then we realized many years ago that something that it was un still unexplored was the Atacama Trench, and we had it just in our front yard. Somebody needed to study it, and I said, well, this is an opportunity, not just for me, for the young people and for Chile, to be studying something at, at the frontier of science. And then we got invited by Victor Vescovo to dive in the Atacama Trench. Engaging life support. And of course that has changed my life, my perspective of life. It's, um, it's a very powerful uh, uh, emotionally and intellectual uh, experience. Being able to be the first human being down at, in the Atacama Trench at more than 8,000 meters with Victor uh, was something that, of course, I mean, it's, it's something that uh, goes back to, to the adventure and to my books when I was a kid, you know, being able to somehow be part of that um, history that's being written about ocean exploration. I think what we have done so far is just open the door uh, and, and, you know, explore and access this world that, you know, nobody had visited before. But uh, I think the big challenge now is to understand how it works. What we don't know is, for example, why there's so much light out there. And I think that's, that's something that, if I were a student, that's what I would do, you know, try to go and now look for, for understanding of, of what's happening. We're still in the age of discovery. We're exploring the ocean. But in order to advance our knowledge, we need to go with novel methods, with novel technology, and be able to try to answer some of the questions that are coming out. Well, I think that the, I think the most wonderful uh, adventure is uh, imagination and intellect. Here. Oh, wow. Here they are. So I think there is a Atacama Trench for everyone and they have to find it.